You see this? Even the lights are partying with me. Let's go. We're choosing happiness, Hawks. Hey, Hawks, hey. Thank you to everyone that's been wearing your yellow. It is greatly appreciated. Why are we doing it? Because yellow is as bright as the sun. And some of us need a reminder to be happy. Wearing lighter colors, marrying things that make you happy, make, helps you feel better. And it gives you a whole different perspective on life. Because you know what? At times, life sucks. Life is crappy. This last year and a half, we need it this week. We needed a reason to be happy. This is your reason. You're still here. Some of you are like, but you know what, Miss Williams? I'm kind of on the fence about being here. We get it. And that's why we have National Suicide Awareness Month. And we celebrate this week with National Suicide Prevention. Because we are glad that you're here. For those who have went through that and had the suicidal ideations, and some of you may have even tried it, I'm glad you failed, meaning that you're still here, meaning that as adults, we can still pour into you. Sometimes friends are the first ones that you talk to. So for those friends who are supporting their friends who are going through these crises, be the one to ask them if they're okay. If they tell you they're not okay, stay there. Don't walk away. So that's step two, be there for them. Three, keep them safe. Don't leave them by themselves. Don't do it. I was a resident advisor at Cal Poly Pomona when I received my behavioral science and my BA, sorry, in behavioral sciences. I study behaviors. Someone can tell you they're fine, but you can look in their eyes and you know they're not. If you get that feeling in your gut that says, my friend really isn't okay right now, stay there with them. Next, help them stay connected. On the back of your IDs, you have a phone number. Use it. You can text them. They will give you the resources that you need. And it's not just for students, it's for family, friends outside of school, cousins, your parents even, but stay connected. That is a hotline you can use. Next, follow up. Did you go and talk to someone? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of you? And lastly, you learn more. How do I help support them even more than what I'm doing? Did you know that at Val Verde, we have therapists for all of our students? That you can do a self-referral if you feel like you need someone to talk to? Because sometimes you need someone to talk to who's outside of the situation. It doesn't make us weak. It doesn't say that you can't handle life because we know in some of our cultures, that's not what we do. But it's time that you do it. It's gonna be a great help. It's good to get a different perspective. You must take care of you before you can take care of anyone else. Keep it classy, Hawks, and remember to choose happiness. Hi, I'm Yesenia Moran. And I'm Alan Sanchez. We're your video production directors. And we're here to make an announcement. If you guys are staying after school to any school events, Make sure you guys take as many pictures as you can, or videos, and send them to our Instagram and Facebook. At ch period, Hawk Studio News. Thank you guys for watching.